We've got um, black and white, so a little bit of black in my white. This is a um, navy blue. I don't need that much, but that big old gallon jug, just that's the way it comes out. It's a navy blue called Payne's Gray. It's a beautiful, beautiful blue. See how pretty that is? A beautiful blue. Let me get my rag before I start getting this all over me. Um, burnt Sienna is like a reddish brown. Just, this is just like a chocolate brown. Um, green, I have a regular green and a lime green. And then I have a gold and an ivory. Okay, so those are the colors that I am going to work with today. And the first paintbrush that I am going to pull is going to be, let me see if I can find, let's go with this one. And let me explain to you what I'm using. So this is an angle brush, and basically it can be a flat brush or an angle brush. Let me show you the difference. There's really no difference to me. Uh, let me find one that maybe would do the job as well that's flat. Okay, here we I go. I got you, Donna, and Susan Nowicki, I got you too. Okay, so we've got... This is a flat brush, this is an angle brush. Either one will work because I'm gonna use them the same way. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use them to tap like this for my trees. Okay, so either one. I kinda like the little angle at the end right here because I can kinda do my little points on the ends of my trees better. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the angle. I'm gonna dip it in the water. I'm gonna wipe it off. And then I am going to start with my greens. I got you, Christy. All right. I'm just going to put a little bit of green. I'm mixing a little bit of, let me see, y'all can't see my, my palette. Let me move it over just a little bit. And I'm going to start with just some of this tapping up here. I'm not going to cover the entire tree because I already have that dark layer back there. So I'm just coming back with another thinner, um, lighter layer. And this is just kind of a regular old green color. Probably want it maybe just a little bit more on the golden green side. Everything's going all right? Oh yeah, I'm just reading being very quiet back there. I'm sorry. I've got, got my mind racing. You know? Mm-hmm. You know how I get when my... I know. That's why I was checking on you. Okay, so this tree is just going to have some lighter shades to it. Not too much. All right, I'm going to put a new tree right here in front and I'm going to kind of start with a darker darker colors and I'm going to go like about right here question from yesterday Leah Vincent says if you pour more paint than you use for the day can it be saved yes what do you do with the extra paint yes I try not to waste it okay okay so you have two options you can actually there's more than two options I'm going to give you some different ideas that I have heard of. I'm not a very good practicer on these um, examples, but I'm just going to tell you some different things you can do. So one of them is you can get those little um, plastic cups. You know that you, you pour like ketchup in or, or um, they have the little clear lids on them. You can get those and you can put your paint. You could, when you put your paint out, you could put them in those little cups and then you close the cups up and the paint will stay um, moist. Another thing you could do is pick it back up with a palette knife and put it back in the jar that you took it out of. 
And a third thing you could do is um, get one of those palette plates that have a lid over them and it's like I'm not I'm not educated in this because I've never used it but I've seen some people use it it's a palette plate like it's it's um some of y'all on here will probably know what I'm talking about it's like a a rectangle and it has a place for you to put like a moist piece of paper and then your palette paper and then your paint and then it has a cover that you cover it with and it keeps your paint for like up to two weeks. But um, I have never ventured out into any of those, but I've seen people use them. So Rhonda so, Lynn, I wanna answer your question real quick since Jen is painting. So we tell everyone that Jen comes, goes live four times a month. Four well, that six. is a lie. That is just a <laughs> bald faced lie. We've counted in over the last two months, she's gone live eight to 12 times a month. But here's the thing, uh, they are recorded as well. And so if you're a tribe member, you have lifetime access to over 60 tutorials. So you get the opportunity to go live anywhere from, we're gonna say four again, right? Four to, to possibly six. 12 times a month, oh my goodness. But then you have access to all the recorded paintings, even the ones that you were not a member uh, up four that occurred in February and March and April and May and June, those are available for you as well. So I hope that answered your question, Rhonda. So what was the question? The question was... What do you get when you become Sorry learning? for all the questions, but in your paint group, do you come live to do your lessons or are they recorded and then posted? And I said, they're both. And yes. then I told her how many times we've gone posted. Yeah, I used... When I first started... I think it was because I, w I had live camera shy. So in February, when I first started, I would only come live like twice a month. Oh, Vicky says it's called a stay wet palette. You're talking about stay a wet, wet palette. Stay wet palette. There you about, go. Yeah, more people, uh, D mentioned that. Uh huh. Uh, Linda, there's a lot of people mentioned that. Yeah. Okay. I haven't used one though. But um, so anyway, when I first started making the videos, oh. I was a lot more comfortable making them not live. And then as I went on and I continued um, with everything, it got easier for me. And so now I go live all the time. And I'm not as scared as I was at first. I hope that makes sense. So I do definitely go live um, a minimum of twice a week in the tribe. Sometimes, and usually Sundays and Wednesdays. Sundays are usually in the evening, and Wednesdays are usually around noon time. So that's eight lives um, a month, just for tribe members. Yeah, sometimes per week it takes two videos like that to complete the whole painting. Sometimes I'll do two different paintings. One on Sunday and, and one, on, um, one on Wednesday. And then sometimes you'll get a free painting because I go live in the, like right now. Christy Bentley sent 50 stars. Thank you, Christy. Goodness gracious, you girls. Now, Susan Nowicki had a good comment. Now, she said, I've seen people that when they have just a little dried paint left, they peel it off using the skins to make other abstract-like designs. That's pretty awesome. I had never heard of that. That sounds very awesome. Yeah, that sounds like that's someone who's got their mind going like engineering stuff, like mechanic stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just using a variety of different colors. So if you're not sure, you can always just um, join for $30, and there is a cancel button at the bottom of your account page. And all you have to do is hit that cancel button and you will never be charged again. So you can come in for $30 for the first month. And if you don't like it, you can just say, okay, I don't want to be a part anymore. That's and right. that's it. So that's what I suggest, you know, if you have any questions Gina about Gibson it. Gina Gibson joined us, Mama. Who's Gina Gibson? Uh, sounds like a person I know. Really? Yeah. 
What is Gina Gibson? Leah Vincent said, oh no, where's that? Where's that comment? Denise said, you came on early, but I'm here. Denise, I tried to make her wait. She wouldn't do I it. Did. I did. I want to go cook supper, and I didn't want to be too late. I, I want to do a, a grilled shrimp Caesar salad, and I have to go cook the shrimp and peel it. And so I was like, okay, I need to. I don't want to eat at 8 o'clock tonight, so I want to. Um, <laughs> Luann says, this is really a great painting. Is that an avalanche in the background or just really great skiing snow? <laughs> Luann Mackey. <laughs> We get Luann on Zoom, and now all of a sudden she's sassy. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you calling my mountain a, a avalanche? It does look like an avalanche now that you say it. It's um, look, I'm gonna show you the picture. It's supposed to be like a mountain. I mean, I guess it's really good skiing snow. <laughs> I can say. Thanks, Denise. I got on to her, Denise. I promise you, I did. I was. What? Is that a flat brush you're using, by the way? It's a. It has a little angle to it. So I showed him at the beginning. You could use either an angle or a flat brush to do what I'm doing. Can you give him a close up of it. Yeah, I just did. Oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> did again. Here we go. Okay. One more time, people. <laughs> just gotta look. Just gotta look. I'm just joking, y'all. Y'all can ask as many questions as you want. Remember, I was a teacher, a high school teacher for 25 years. Do you know how many times I had to tell those kids, okay, open your book to page, well, not that we use textbooks very often, but um, open your book to page 320. What page? Page 320. Open your book to page 320. Wait, what page? When did it, like for 15 minutes, open your book to page 320. Wait, what page are you on? <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh. So Mary Ann's got a good question, Jen. Uh-huh. You talked a, a while ago about putting gesso on your canvas before you paint. Mm-hmm. Is there a brand that you prefer? Kathy, I know. A look a day is what I get. A look a day. So what about the um, gesso? The only gesso that I've ever bought is Liquitex. So I can't really say that I, I can... Say it, I can vouch for. I'm sorry, it's not Liquitex. Let me get the big old gallon container for you. This Artist Loft white acrylic gesso. Um, and probably because I was at Michael's and it was 50% off and it was a big gallon jug, and I've been having it for about a year. I got so, you, Elizabeth. And I love it. It's really thick, and I like to put it on with my palette knife. So. There you go. And I, I don't even mind if it gives my canvas some texture. I kind of like that, bucket. actually. Yeah, it's a big one. How much are we paying for that? It's a lot. It's a lot of money. I'm not going to lie. Like, maybe, I don't know, $30. It's been a long time since I bought it. Look at me so I can give you a look. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you need that big old bucket of... Gesso. I don't know. It was just like a really big sale. Mm. And I was like, oh, I need some of this. And I knew I was going to be painting a lot. So um, I figured it wouldn't be a bad investment. Okay, let me go over to these trees too. I'm not going to do too much on these trees because these trees are kind of covered up a little bit. Ah, Luann says she bought Master's Touch Gesso. Yeah, that's good. That's probably a good brand, too, because Ma I love everything that Master's Touch offers. Thank you, Cindy. I agree. What? Nothing. That's a big old container. Cindy said you I can needed see, it. I can see y'all uh, comments. You oh, know. but you miss them because you're painting. <laughs> yeah, but I go back and read them. Thank you, Kathy. I, got, I need support, guy. <laughs> Do you gesso most of your canvases, Nadine asked? Bye, Christy. Have Nadine, a good night. Nadine, I'm not going to lie to you. Say Bye, Christy. Christy. God bless. I'm not going to lie to you. If it's a small painting, like an 8 by 10 that I just really quickly decided to paint, then no. But if it is um, a large painting that I know that I'm going to love, like the deer painting, then yes. So, 
The problem with me is I'm a very impromptu last minute person. And if you don't gesso your canvas in a timely manner, then your canvas is wet and then you can't use it to paint on it. So, um, yeah, does that make sense? So when I think about gessoing it, I do in advance. But when I'm late and I forget to gesso it, then I just don't gesso it. Elizabeth said, hey, is the deer painting there for Tribe Sisters? I joined yesterday, and I'm excited. About the deer. Everybody yes, wants Elizabeth, deer. and congratulations okay. for joining. We are so glad you're with us. Yes, we are very <laughs> excited. Hey, okay, Carolyn. so I'm putting some little, like, brown trees back here. I'm using some golden brown. Hey, Carolyn. And I'm just kind of making it look. Hey, Carolyn. I'm just kind of making it look like I have a bunch of old dead trees back here. Okay, so to talk about the oh dear, I've had so many people today ask about where's the oh dear painting? Where's the oh dear painting? It is not in the tribe library yet because it, it has just been painted last week live. Okay, so here's the way that the tribe library works. Um, I have a VA who actually takes the videos off of Facebook and edits them and puts them in the tribe library. It takes anywhere from two weeks to a month to get to the tribe library. So in the meantime, they are all still only in the Facebook group. So the Oh Dear Challenge was a private Facebook group where the tribe members got in free. So you need to find the Facebook group called Jen's Den Art Trop. No, hang on. What happened? What's going on? Jen's Den Oh Dear Painting Challenge. And you need to ask to get into that group. And that's where all of the Oh Dear stuff is. Okay, so does that make sense? I'm going to explain all of that to y'all Monday. For all the new tribe members that are coming in, we're going to have an opening ceremony because right now there's about 80 of y'all. So we're going to have an opening ceremony on Monday at noon live really? in the tribe Facebook group. Yeah, and I am going to take you through and show you where to find everything. Mama Heidi's got a great question. Okay. Heidi says... I just joined the tribe, and yes, Heidi, you did. You are the very last person today that has joined, and we are ecstatic. <laughs> do you do your paintings in the tribe at certain days or times? Yes. You want to go I back do over them, that? yes. I do them mostly. Congratulations, Heidi. <laughs> Every once in a while, I change the times depending on what's going on in our personal lives, but for the most part, I do the, um, the tribe paintings on Sunday evenings, usually around five or six, depending on what time zone you're in. Um, and Wednesdays around noon. I do it during the day and I do one during the day and one um, in, the, in the evening. So Sundays and Wednesdays are usually the days that I go live in the tribe. Okay, and if you miss it, it's okay. It's going to be, um, it's going to be recorded. Now, something else, and I'm glad y'all are asking all these questions because they're all going to be answered in the tribe, um, the opening ceremonies as well. Okay, so do y'all see how I made some of my trees look like? Some of them are in front, and some of them are in back, in the back. And basically, I just kind of um, added different layers. Renee Dan okay. says, this is beautiful. Thank you. I, I love doing I actually, stuff Cindy like said that. that, but I'm sure Renee Dan meant it. She was welcoming the new Tribe Sisters. I'm sorry, Renee. I'm sorry, Cindy. Um, Eva, welcome new Tribe I'm sorry. So, what I also do is I take your opinions. If, for some of you, Wednesdays and Sundays are not working, then I'm going to switch them up one month, and I'm going to go Tuesdays and I don't know, Fridays or something, you know. So I am going to ask your opinion because you are the people that are driving this tribe. 
okay? And by driving this tribe, I mean, this is all for you. It's not for me. So whatever you all vote on, that's what I end up doing. And right now, the Sunday and Wednesday has been working. Something else that's coming that y'all are all very welcome to participate in. At the end of each month, I send out a poll in the tribe live, and not at the tribe library, in the tribe Facebook group, and I ask, what do you want to paint in December? Okay, or what do you want to paint for the next month? So that post is going to be live tonight. I was trying to do it earlier today, but we had too much going on. We had to go move hay and help our son do some stuff. Um, but anyway... If you look at my stories, you'll see the donkey and the and the horse and all. We got to pet the horses and feed the horses and the donkey. And That'll do, fun. donkey. That'll do. It was so much fun. So anyway, um, wait, what was I saying? Yes. Yeah, so tonight we are going to um, we're going to start voting for our December paintings. Oh, I hope it's Christmas. Do you know how many Christmas paintings we've done? Over yeah, the but last... there's a Christmas painting that I have in my mind that I want to see, but it's okay. Bye, okay. Cindy. Bye, Cindy. Okay, y'all see we how I'm too. using that. Um, we love you, Cindy. Y'all see how I'm using now? I'm using like a really bright lime green. That's my next color. So how am I making that? I'm using some green and some yellow, and I'm making a really bright lime green am i answering questions okay how you are, we are doing? you are okay a couple of people asked no you answered those okay yeah. so now i'm gonna start coming up right here i'm still using the same brush i might want to change i'm not sure let me try it and i'm just kind of making a little bit of bushes You may want to mention about posting Jen's Den artwork on your own personal pages. I agree. You want to talk about that? Oh moment? yes. If, Thank you. Thank you, Vicky. Yeah. If you if you post any of my tutorials, your artwork, um, on any pages, please give me credit by saying that you learned how to paint this from Jen's Den art in your post. Or use the hashtag Jen's Den Art in your post. So that that kind of that's just an easy way to advertise for free, you know. So y'all are just helping me advertise and um, you know, get I get more followers on my Facebook page. That's right. When y'all uh, throw my name out there and it's just a, a I just ask for you to please do that. And mm. something else that I think is important, Jen doesn't mention it a lot, and I, I just think it's because she, she's got so much other things to mention, but Jen gives you tips. Uh, she did a couple of live sessions on how you post on Etsy, how you uh, develop your artwork or repertoire so that you can go to marketplaces. We promote that. We think you should do it. We think that you should use uh, some of the things that you sell to pay for your membership um, so it's not a burden on you and that you can give back to the community. So that, that's one of the things that we want you to do. We want you to paint. We want you to sign it. We want you to sell it. So Or gift it. You know, or I mean, gift it, yeah. Yeah, yeah th listen, this isn't just about us painting. This is about you showing love to other people and you putting your talent that God has given you, you putting your love into your painting and you sharing it with the world. Mm -hmm. And we believe in that. We believe that that is essential and we believe that God has given us a gift to, uh, to push forward, not to just hang on to it. And we want you to do that as well. Annette says, why, did, or why do you use gesso first before you paint? Annette, it's just, it's kind of like a primer for your canvas. Do you and have to do that? No, you do not have to do it. That's why I don't always do it. But it does provide for a much smoother painting surface. So, you know, when you paint on a canvas, especially if you buy the student grade canvases, they're kind of rough and they have some little, like, 
a lot of little holes in them and stuff. So the gesso provides a primer because your canvas is cotton and your paint can kind of leak through this if it's not primed first. At Sylvia least I also, use cotton. Sylvia okay? also says it gives the canvas a smoother surface. Yes, that's exactly what I was just saying. Very good. So um, thank you, Sylvia. Um, so it, it allows your paints to move better on the canvas and it allows your paints to um, to not sink in the canvas, you know, because it is. It's it's actually a cotton canvas. So I hope that makes sense. There's a lot of reasons for it. And it actually makes your paintings look a little better as well. Jen, I wanted so. to tell you, we have a violator of the group rules. Mm -hmm. And I need to mention who it is. It is okay. Kathy Dickerson has forgotten at some times to hashtag Jen's Den. Well, it's okay because I usually go back and see where y'all are posting things and I'll go in the comments and I'll add a hashtag Jen's Den or for myself. I was actually picking <laughs> on Kathy. So that's my southern sister there. <laughs> Cheryl Weaver says your trees are amazing. Annette says thank you. Good to know. Sylvia, thank you for that. Uh, Expert advice, it does make it look smoother, I can tell, even with yeah, my eyes. Yeah, it makes your paint move easier, too. Marianna kind of agrees with what Sylvia said, and you said, she said, after you talked about it, I tried it with the clear gesso I had. Gesso. And I, gesso, and I loved it so, so I asked, uh, so I can get the white gesso. Very good. Yeah. If the painting is not my design, I always write on the back of, of the painting. Example, inspired and taught by Jen's Den Art. Oh, Vicky. Aw, isn't that well, sweet? Thank you, Vicky. Well, hubba hubba. That's exactly, yeah. That's that's good. That's, you know. Eva says, good night. Looks awesome, Jen. Thank you. Bye, Eva. Bye, Eva. Oh, you sweetheart. Yeah, you see how patient you have to be with this painting? It's Den a lot of... Denise, I got you. Denise is having knee surgery again on the 10th. Oh, wow. Was that expected or is that new? Because I know she had knee surgery once already. Oh, Patricia's been working on the Cardinal all day. Oh, isn't it fun? Well, today. I got all you, right. I'm going with a, with a brighter yellow, y'all. I grabbed my good yellow because I felt like the yellow I was using before. I don't know if y'all noticed this or not. So the yellow I was using before was a deco art yellow. Okay, and this is this is my spill all the time. If you're new with me, you will hear me spill this all the time. Spill. I do not like Deco Art and I do not like Craft Smart because they are cheap paints and they require you to put layer after layer after layer. So here's the here's the dilemma that I was having just a second ago, and I'll tell you what happened. So I was using that Deco Art yellow with the green. And I was putting it on here, and then as it was drying, the yellow and the lime green was completely going away. You couldn't even see it on my canvas. I don't know if y'all noticed that. So go back and look at the replay, and you'll notice. As it was drying, look, you can see right here, as it was drying, it's just not even looking like a lime green. It's just back to the dark green that it was. So... That told me I need a more opaque yellow to help me get that yellow to like pop on my painting. So I went to my Master's Touch Thick Body Acrylic. This is a more expensive paint. Look at the texture of the paint. Look how thick it is. Okay, and it's very, very bright yellow and I'm mixing my green in that. And now let's look at what we do when we put that yellow on. Leah says she went and replaced hers with folk art this week. Oh, really? Yep. Look, you don't have to use these uh, thick body paints, but you're going to see once you start painting, you're going to you're going to take my word for it and you're going to see how it makes a difference in your paintings. Okay? That's all I'm saying is you will see a difference in your paintings, okay? Denise fell camping. So yeah. she's got the MRI Tuesday from her, well, she's, she's got that on the 10th, but she's got MRI Tuesday for her and her husband checking on the nodules in their lungs. Yes, I got you, Denise. Don't worry, I'm gonna mention it tonight. All 
All right, so what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to make this look like some layers of bushes. Say hello, Linda. Hello, Linda. From Pennsylvania. Hello, Linda from Pennsylvania. Tell us what it's like in Pennsylvania tonight. We love to talk about weather. So Marianne said, that's really helpful. I thought that, but didn't know why uh, on a, uh, uh, why I tried it. I why she tried the, what? Uh, the whole, what you were just explaining. Oh, about the, the, um, the paint kind of going away, the transparency. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Th um, cheap paints are very transparent and they just kind of, they soak up everything. Thank and you, Galen. Galen sprinkled. You have to put, um, layer over layer. Thank you for sprinkling. Did I tell you Sylvia gave 50 stars? Did I say that? Uh, I, I don't remember. There's so many people giving 50 stars. It's crazy. That's so sweet. Mm. Isn't that awesome? If y'all want to get 50 pecan pies and send them to the us. The little mini capon. Those capon. work well as capon. well. Elizabeth said it's 77 <laughs> in Orlando, Florida. Oh, I bet you it's beautiful, huh? We've been at about 30. 30 degrees is, is about our average right now. At night, it gets down to like 19, and during the day, it'll get up to like 34. Hello from Oklahoma. Hello Galen. from Oklahoma. Galen, thank you. Okay, so I'm coming in here with some brown, and I'm, I'm trying to make it look like this is like kind of hilly, like a little bit of dirt. I'm going to show you what I'm following again. Mm. Okay, y'all see I'm going into the brown right here. You can see that all right? Yes, I can. Linda's getting yeah. some snow this Monday. We, it's not supposed to snow here for a while. Well, Linda's not really west. She's east of us. Oh, okay. She's in Pennsylvania. Gotcha. So, Gavin said, I watched you on the Craftathon, and I am hooked. hooked. <laughs> <laughs> what hooked you? <laughs> Who said this? Galen? Galen. Uh, she him. just said, uh, I saw Michael one time, and he is a hoot and great looking. Oh, Kaylin. oh my gosh. Why do I not read that? Well, she didn't say that. I'm just, I just, <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> I'm just, Rhonda wants to know, do you hand letter at all? Yes, I do. I don't teach it, but I do. I used to do just hand lettering before I started painting. <laughs> Leah, I feel you. Because I would eat it in one day, which I have done before. And every once in a while, I'll do a hand lettering painting. Where's that believe? And give me that it is well with my soul. It is well. Where's it is one? well. Like we've done this before. And it's all freehanded. So, But I do provide templates if you can't freehand it yourself. But I do kind of teach them how to do that. Um, Jones so. getting snow. First big snow of the year Monday. Calling for, oh, Signal Mountain, Tennessee. Lee, I know exactly where that is. All right, so now I'm starting to work on my water just a little bit. What kind of time frame we have, baby? Well, it's mountain time. It's 516. 516? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we've been on for close to an hour. All right, so we're going to call it pretty soon, y'all. This is day two. We still have a day three of this painting. So remember I told you... Some of my paintings, I didn't even use the navy blue tonight. Did y'all realize that? So what? let me use some of it right now. Some of my paintings take us an hour. Some of my paintings take us three hours. And here's an example of a three-hour painting. Some of my paintings take us two hours. I don't usually do it all in one sitting. I usually do it like in one-hour increments because not many people can stay on a live, you know, watching after a certain amount of time. So I usually break it up into different sessions. Now I'm using the blue, by the way, if y'all didn't notice. Yes, Sylvia, that will certainly work. What? Oh, chocolate cake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Teresa Owens says they're getting down in the 20s in Mississippi. Oh, wow. And That's she says awesome. that is brr for yeah, some Yeah, absolutely. Right. I remember that. That was like major. Listen, I just want to say this real quick, guys. Um, and yeah, this is me advertising. This is me marketing. 
$30 a month, you can join Jen's Den Art Tribe, or you can pay $330 a year, which gives you a free month. Or you can pay $180 and try it for six months. The biggest thing about this is that when you join, you have access to over 60 painting tutorials. It's more, it's closer to 70, I just keep saying 60, but I'm talking painting tutorials back from February when she first started. You also, with, in my opinion, is the best part. You get the love from each other expressed every time we go live, and you also get to express your faith. We are bold in our witness for Christ. We are challenged sometimes in our witness for Christ, but we don't mind talking about it and sharing our struggles and our joys with one another, and that's what this is about. Thank you, for Denise, for bringing that up. Go ahead, Mom. You raised your hand. Yes. I did. I raised my hand. Pretty I was lady like, in I need, the front. To, I need to like? talk to him about what I'm doing. Okay, ahead, so lady. do y'all see how um, my vision here? Okay, so I'm going to show you what I'm working with. This is all water. All of this is water. But they don't show a lot of the blue water. I want to show more of the blue water. And then I'm going to put like some white caps like it's a stream, you know, and, and they're flowing over the rocks and stuff. So I'm going to add that a little bit. We're going to work on that a little bit more tomorrow. And then we're going to do our little fisherman. And we were supposed to do the trees tonight, but we never got That's there. That's what you raised your hand for when I was talking about your membership? Yeah, I wanted I wanted to explain to them what I'm doing. Girl, you've gotten two looks to the back of your head. I just want you to know Okay, that. well, that's all right. So Leah made a, make, makes a great comment. And Leah, I, I remember someone saying that yesterday, and it, and it struck me too. I'm not sure who it was. Maybe, I, I don't even want to say who it was. I forget. But for $1 a day, you get so much more than just painting. And that's that's what we want to do. That's what we want to do. We want to offer more. All right. So I'm starting to add a little bit of white on top of this blue. And y'all see how I'm pulling like that? It's It's making the water look like it's moving over some rocks. Okay, so I'm not done with this. We're going to work on this again oh, tomorrow. Wow. Myrtle Beach is going from 73 on Monday to 34 on Tuesday. Um, so, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So, um, don't, don't worry about this because we're going to have to work on it some more tomorrow. And tomorrow is going to be our last day. And uh, we're going to add some rocks along the edges, and we're going to do our little fishermen. And then if we have time, we're going to add a couple more trees in there as well. Mom, okay? we need to pray tonight. Okay. So, so far, so good. I hope y'all are liking it. Um, we're going to go further with our water, and we're going to, we're going to, like, I, I want to kind of do that right now. Just a minute. We're not going to pray just yet, Okay. Okay. Let me just, I want to Kathy smooth. Kathy Dickerson says she loves this painting. I, I want to smooth out some of these areas that kind of look like. Carolyn, I thought it was you, and I almost said it, but I didn't want to. I, what? I was like, I don't. Carolyn's the one that said, for a dollar a day, you get so much more than painting. Carolyn Bayless said that. Thank you, Carolyn. Yes, that is a great comment, Carolyn. Thank it, you. It's right on point. Y'all hear me scrubbing? What are you scrubbing for? I'm scrubbing because. I'm trying to make the, the paint just a little more, um, like, I want it blended in a little more. So I'm using just a little bit of brown and white. Hmm. And I don't want it to be quite so, like, the blue was just, like, coming out at me like it was on top of everything. And I want it to kind of blend in a little bit. Well, Leah's got a comment. And I think it is great. Jen, don't give me the look. Huh, everybody knows you got a look, Jen. Mm. <laughs> Leah's a new, the Louis, Leah's a new, uh, Leah's sister. a new. Come on, Leah, bring it on, girl. <laughs> I know the painting is a huge aspect of this, but I'm already sensing the community is a big part from being here. Oh, yeah. Yep. I agree. Leah. It is. It is, Leah. Leah, that, I think that is right on. Great yeah. insight. Very good. I do, Rhonda. I like how the trees pop too. They almost they look real to me. I love how you can look in the background at the mountain and through the trees, and you can see the. You know what I'm saying? On the right side. Did y'all see what I just did? 
I put too much white right here, and I didn't like it. I'm going to show you again. I put too much of this whitish gray, and I was like, oh, no, that's way too much. I don't like it. So I took my finger, and I just kind of rubbed it in, and it looks it looks great. It kind of, like, blended in, you I can't know? wait to see what it's going to look like tomorrow. I know. So we're going to start putting, like, a little bit of rocks. We're going to put some grays in here. And then our little man, fly fishing, is going to be the icing on the cake. The coup de gras. The coup de gras. Which in Louisiana, or which in French means the death blow. Okay, so I want to see your, your paintings. Is anybody working on this? I want you to start posting it in the free Facebook group. So <clears throat> we're not going to make this quick, but we will make this quick. We want to thank you all for being on. Uh, and we love you, and we hope that you do join. And if you don't join, then just pay attention to the to the to the free paintings that Jen does, and so we can give you some love. So let's pray together, and let's lift up our sisters and our family. So Father God, we thank you for the blessings of life, and we thank you for watching over us and taking care of us. Lord, there are some women that I would like to mention to you tonight. God, it's Vanessa and her and her Brant. God, him experiencing COVID. God, we ask that you would be with her. Also ask that you be with Susan Nowicki herself and her brothers, God, that you would protect her and make her well, God, and that they would battle this as Vanessa and her, uh, her brand's battling this, God. Father, I also pray for Donna and her son who is struggling with addiction, God. We know that addiction is caused from something more than just a choice. That is something that has caused that addiction to happen. God, we pray for Christy and her daughter's addiction. We pray for Elizabeth continually and her father's health, and I want to pray for Denise and her husband, God, who are battling internal health issues as long as the physical health issues that Denise is experiencing with her knee. God, we love you. We praise you, and we thank you for the blessings of life. We also, God, want to remember the verse as I'm reading from my computer, God, uh, Romans chapter 5, verse 3 and 4, that we rejoice in the sufferings that we have, God, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces faith. Faith in you, faith in your Son, Jesus Christ, who died upon the cross so that we may have life. We love you, we praise you, and we thank you again for all the blessings that you've given us. For it is in Jesus Christ's name that we pray. Amen. Amen. We love you. God bless. We love Mwah. you. Have a good night.